We're about to speak to uh, one of the biggest stars in the world right now, thanks to the Tiger King documentary series on Netflix, which has blown up. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you'll start to realise uh, that uh, it's become uh, almost – It's the Tiger King himself, Joe Exotic, is in most memes, the most popular viral memes at the moment, and essentially he is – um, well, he's now incarcerated, but he had a tiger sanctuary over in the States. And there were a few of those tiger sanctuaries all competing and arguing and fighting. And um, the Joe Exotic, though, the best way to describe him is a very outlandish um, – any other words that you two want to throw in? Just How like to d- party and just have yeah. fun and love these animals. Wow, we haven't got an impression. Thank you. And he had <laughs> uh, he had a couple of husbands. Now, mm. one of his ex husbands, Joe uh, John. John 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 Finlay, um, at the time of the filming, uh, you if you've watched it, he has no teeth and he does most of his interview topless with all his tattoos on show. So when we <laughs> spoke to John, <laughs> Fev. Fev, you decided to take out your fake tooth. Take I got into t-shirt. my John Finlay character. <laughs> he never talks. looked more than John Finlay. So to explain this, as we're about to speak to Joe Exotic's ex-husband, uh, there's four webcams. He can see all of us. And this was the moment when Fev walked into shot, looking much like he did during the documentary series. Or maybe nude. Here he show. is. Here we go. Big fella. Oh, How really? you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, wow. Jenny boy? <laughs> John, I've got no John, tooth as well. You've got your teeth fixed. For the occasion. Yeah. Now, John, thank you so much for your time. Wow. What a whirlwind few weeks you must have had because um, this is the story that you've lived, um, but the world has just exploded. Everyone's watching The Tiger King. How are you feeling, one, with this instant fame, but also how it's all played out on the documentary series? Well, the overnight fame is like a craziness. But I just rather not even think about it too much. I just want to live like a normal human being like everybody else does. But it is kind of nice. But with the plans, it just happens. Now, I know, John, we, we've actually spoken to Doc Antle, and he said this was not the documentary, the show that was pitched to him. And we were wondering, was that the same with you? When you sat down with the, the documentary maker, did you know what he was going to be making, or is that not what you were sold? I don't think really any of us knew exactly what was going to be going on in the documentary. And, and were you happy now, with the mate, outcome sp- or not? Um, yes and no. Um, they made me look like a meth head hillbilly. They didn't even go into that I'm six years clean. They didn't really go into, like, my teeth or anything else. They look great. Yeah, I got a new set of teeth. and I'm missing I'm missing a, te- a tooth, though. I might have to go... Oh, my. <laughs> you know, it, <laughs> A lot of people blame it on the drugs and stuff, but it wasn't. It was genetics. It was the different things throughout the life that I lost my teeth. Now, mate, it's great that you're six uh, six years clean, which is a, an amazing effort. Uh, so, well done on that. Have you spoke to Joe at all since you've uh, since he's been in uh, in jail? No, I have not. Not since um, before the court. I spoke. One time before that, and that was it. Do you know, John, have you heard from anyone how Joe is going in jail? Is he um, is it, is it a good space for him? Is he accepted it, or is he doing it tough in there? Um, I haven't heard anything because I shoved all that to the side, and I focus well, well, on me. When you were married to Joe and Travis, they didn't really show you after the math when Travis passed away. How did that affect you? Well, me and Joe weren't actually married, but when Travis passed away, it was quite devastating to a lot of us. What do you I mean know. you weren't married? Didn't all three of you stand up there and get married? No, that was a uh, publicity stunt for Joe to get a reality TV show. Oh, of course. Wow. wow. Now, there, there's big talks about they're going to make this into a big Hollywood blockbuster. So who, do you, who would you think would play you? <laughs> Uh, Channing Tatum would be the number one pick that I would pick. He has another backstory. 
Oh, yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> um, have you, John, have you watched the series, all seven episodes? Me and Stormy binge watched it. One night. They binge watched it. <laughs> binge watched it. <laughs> because, because it's from like six, six, seven years ago, a long time ago in your life. Honestly, how did that feel watching that back? And particularly with Stormy, was it, you know, do you have regrets? Um, is it emotional for you or are you able to just put it behind you and move on? The only regret I have is the animals. Uh, leaving the animals behind is what was the hardest part. And... The other regret is I had so many memories with that part that are just being ripped apart. But I pretty much left most of it behind because living the life that I do now, I try to live it positive and try and influence that on other people. Now, we know that Joe is now in jail and we won't go into why, but obviously that it all started with the fallout with Carol and their fight and you were close to Joe at the time so you saw that he was antagonizing her and pushing her and pushing her did you ever think to yourself oh this is going to go too far one day uh yeah I did go way too far um a lot of us did tell him to start backing off or things were going to get ugly and they did you you know it's so lovely speaking to you John because you are a really Clearly, you've got yourself sorted. You, you're nothing but positive and about putting good vibes and goodwill out there. And it's a real testament because at the moment you could be really angry at how that's all played out for you. So I think it's a real testament to yourself. You should be really proud of yourself. Thank you. Um, as I was saying, and, and feel free to say this is too personal because the problem for you is and where I feel for you is it got very personal about your life when really you may not have known you were doing that documentary. But one, what we did realise towards the end when we saw you in a, in a relationship with a woman and then the, the inference was that you were straight – um, is it too personal to ask? Is that your sexuality? Do you, do you know what your sexuality is? I'm straight as an arrow. Right there we go. Okay, yes. <laughs> I didn't want to take. I didn't want to presume. What, what but... made you be with um, with Joe then? Um, that's a hard subject to discuss right now. Um, because he's not a good looking cause... rooster. He's no Channing Tatum. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, he's not. He's not the type of person I thought he was. Do you think, John, it was a true depiction of, of Joe? I mean, if I don't know Joe Exotic, but what I took from it was he seemed very fame-hungry, wanted uh, – it was all about him. And I think one of the most disturbing scenes was Travis's funeral and, and it seemed like Joe was making that a lot about him and that was really heartbreaking to watch. Is that sort of a true reflection of Joe, or how would you sum him up as a person? More or less, that was the true depiction. Whether people want to admit it or not, it it was. John, thank you so much for your time, and um, you've been fantastic. We're looking at you. You look great. You can see you've come a long way, and great to get that message out there that you're clean, you're sober, you've got your act together. And Fev, I know for a bit of fun you took your shirt off and took your tooth out, but if you look at our camera right now, John looks exactly <laughs> like me. It's like we're doppelgangers. Look at us. No. We are literally the same person. Look at that. Do you have hair on your head, though? No, no, I've shaved it off. So bald on the top and then beard on the bottom. Oh, oh nearly. Oh, half and yeah. half. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he goes. So what a good sport he is. John Finlay in his uh, study there with his lovely partner as well. Thank Stormy. you for making Hi, time. Stormy. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. I love Australia. I want to go there one day. Make sure you check out my Facebook page, The Truth About John Finley, and uh, y'all have a great night. 101.9 The Fox. Uh, we